that feeling in which you hear a song and it brings you back to a certain place or time? I do. At First Christian Church in Maysville, what would happen if the songs just didn't sound the same? The organist shows our Austin Pollock and uh, chief photographer Brian Stahl that their 52-year-old organ doesn't quite play the same tune, but that's okay. <laughs> They're the songs you heard holding mom and dad's hand. Now the songs your kids hear holding your hand. You know, it was built in 1876 and it's been in, you know, marvelous, marvelous standing ever since. Nearly a century and a half where sound from a complex instrument has echoed in the halls. Connection to music is something everybody knows, whether you can sing or can't sing or enjoy listening or uh, playing it yourself, there's just no other experience like it. Organist Christian Cobb has been with First Christian Church for a couple of years. Oh, it's more than an honor. It's a privilege. Christian grew up in church, not this one, but he's been given a hand in his connection to faith. My first words ever spoke out of my mouth was in the choir loft of the church growing up. Once looking down from the choir loft to the organ bench, now filling not just any seat. Two weeks after she had passed away, I was up on the organ bench. I was ready. Christian's great aunt died in 2013. An organist himself, he's a voice for the voiceless. The history of this organ is more than unique, it's a, it's a gem. It's a hidden gem. And just as the prelude begins, there is a, it's as if we're being ushered into some, or onto some holy ground. Is this organ a symbol of this church? Oh yeah, it's more than a symbol for the church, it's for, for the community of Maysville. The community has held hands, bound together in this church, but now it's time to extend that hand elsewhere. So that organ basically just sat right where it is now and wasn't used. Basically, more or less. Sitting dormant for around a decade, slowly deteriorating. It's not just the leather, it's also the pipes because they shrink or expand. All 1,290 of them, aches and pains, few things in life, work the same after 52 years. You know, if you go to the lo lower register. Well, is that normal? No, <laughs> far from it. When it does work, it has the power to transport us to a place or time. But what if that sound went bleak? But half the time it doesn't even work, so I can't even rely on it. We've been linked together by this universal sound etched to our souls. That's what I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change the world with this organ. And hopefully, by the grace of God, it'll happen. Don't let the sound go silent. We've needed it, but now it needs that same helping hand. With Chief Photographer Brian Stahl in Maysville, Austin Pollock, Evening Edition.